koutou katoa e te whānau, no mai hari mai, welcome into North Harbour Stadium for round one of the Farah Palmer Cup. The North Harbour High Biscuits host the Otago Spirit in the Championship Division to start their season. And a big moment here for the women you mentioned. Zoe Fruit, her 50th game for Otago, 61st for a Palmer cap, 30 years old, out of the Alumbra Union Club. She made 109 tackles last year. That's third in the entire competition, including the championship and the premiership. So it will be Otago kicking off from right to left in their traditional blue. And North Harbour in the white, and it's Harbour with first possession and a big run straight off the bat from Trinity Rika. Talk about a physical start to the game. Another strong carry coming in from Danielle Onesimo Tuilaipa, her twin sister in the sixth jersey. North Harbour wanting to be direct with their running. Continuing just to go same way, looking for some space, and it opens up there as the youngster Henderson showing us her skill set early. Good continuity from this Harbour team, finding some space on the left edge, getting the offload away was Manupo Kortene in the end, just putting a foot in touch, and what an explosive start from the Hibiscus. Otago go to the front jumper, they look to more good speed to set. And breaking away is the experienced Tegan Hollow, she's just short, they're about a metre out the spirit, They'll pick and go, good defence coming in from Harbour. Again, just centimetres away with each try. But under another advantage. Offside here. Penalty advantage, the penalties. It's now four penalties to none. Yeah, but I like the intent there of North Harbour. Getting low, that's what you need to do when they're that close to the line. They go to the left-hand side. Try set piece play, but it was read brilliantly by Cunningham. They've turned the ball over to the Spirit. And that's a win on defense for the Southern ladies. We've got the woman in low numbers out on that left hand side. And again, Jamie Church. It's such explosive power, and it's still in play. No, it was knocked on. But you can see their intent, always wanting to go to Church because she is quick. Oh, absolutely. Gets it out to the left there. Still fighting to stay on her feet. Cormac clears. Wide out. With a carry. Again, running in on a nice angle was Cunningham, and it's pin passed directly to Cormac. And again, another penalty. 6 1, the penalty count. Well, to be fair, she had a three-on-one outsider. She could have got the ball free. They would have been over the line for sure. They go quickly. They go for a tap, and it's just an easy numbers game. And in her 50th game, Zoe Fruit dots over the try line and opens up the try scoring. The experience of the Spirit, they've just taken in, absorbed some pressure from Hibiscus, and now they've just started ramping it up. And you can see that with the multiple phase play, getting their forwards involved in the back line, wider passes. Tuilua. Wonderful right foot step from Henderson. She's going to have the assist of Sasangawa can find a way. Here's the stepping house. This from the right winger. Just metres away. The tails are up for the Harbour Hibiscus. Trying to chomp away. They're driven back though as East. Hands in the ruck is the call. They can go quickly. Bill gets it out to East. East! She reaches out. She's entitled to do so. And it is a try. Harbour Hibiscus are stoked and very deserving. And the, le the score is level. Just the nature of getting it wide. I thought they'd butchered it a few rucks earlier. They had a few chances. Didn't go wide enough. And then they finally go wide. Number five is a Sheppy. Absolutely thrilled, and so will the hibiscus. The defense in sixes doing? and sevens at the moment for now? Otago. That left foot step from Henderson. Oh, and it's going to go the other way against the runner play. It's a foot race. Hume bursting down the right edge. The chasers come across the centering kick. 
and the ball is going to beat everyone. But heartbreak for North Harbour, who were hot on attack. Oh, absolutely. They get it out quickly. What is the play here? Just hold on, on to the ball with a hibiscus. One on one in the midfield, gets that pass away. Here we go, here's the acceleration. It's opening up on the right hand side. Here goes Sulu up there. Mona Lisa's excited, she's up on her feet. What a chase coming in from Jamie Church. That is an incredible try saving tackle. They go to the back and sometimes you just need that money ball up the front. So they will give Otago the last possession of the game. Deciding to kick was huge. She wants to make it a foot race. You can hear the siren going off in the background and it is collected by Campbell. Everyone thought it was time for half time. Hell couldn't collect. And this has been an exciting first half in the Farah Palmer Cup Championship. North Harbour Hibiscus with their inexperienced team have really shell-shocked this Otago Spirit side and it is seven points to five, the home team leading the visitors in the Farah Palmer Cup. Line speed coming up from North Harbour, making the tackle was replacement. And there's some more two later. Yes, first of the game. That's very unfortunate there. It's a prime opportunity to get some go forward and uh, hopefully assert some early points and domination in the second half. Going out to the right hand side are uh, Otago. You can see that defense from Harbour trying to smother them. Might have her hands on the ball. In fact, she doesn't and popping up is Hume. It just opened up for her. Well, I was just looking at the spread of the Harbour defence and they were very flat and very wide and obviously no one looking after the ruck. Sometimes you just get into a bit of bother. Steady scrum from Harbour. Otago Spirit get it out quickly and again opening up for Va'a for Suwanga. She's running some good lines. Cormac under pressure gets that pass away and it's the work between the two Campbells, Siatafai and Oceania. And Hume down the short side. She had no right to score that whatsoever. Flirted with the touchline. And in the end, she goes over for her second of the match. But that was great. Eyes there for Campbell to even do the offload. Strong in the tackle. Just a little bit of a hey, pop it through. But there was 10, there was seven fruit. Even Hume was there. So that was brilliant work there by Spirit. <laughs> Good break down the end from Moncrief, the halfback. And then another carry from Alva'a, the Manusina International. Come out to the left. Good continuity. Kira O'Connor gets that pass back. It's opening up. That skip pass weighted it beautifully. Two on one. She just has to draw a pass. She doesn't need to. She pulls out the right arm fin and she's going to go underneath the post. Big Superman dive. I thought she almost lost that. And what a response from this Harbour team. That skip pass there was crucial. And the straighten up. It was two on one. Here's your face, Fen. Don't even need my support. Thank you very much. And under the stick. So, wow. Again, just straightening up this time. That's better speed by Moncrief. She goes on her own. She's isolated, needs people there. They've trapped in an Otago spirit there. But O'Connor has the ball. The spirit haven't released her. They've got the penalty advantage. They've got numbers to the left and right. Otago got plenty of players committed. They'll pick and go through the middle. Couple meters away, Mata'afa. Inching closer and closer, they've got their tails up. Here's a big charge coming in from the hibiscus, and it's a try. 
and it's the women on debut, Ria Loni Onisoma Tuilaipa. Strong push again from North Harbour after being dominated in the first half. They've really turned it around at scrum time. Hugh gets it out to her strong winger and Jamie Church wasn't given a lot of room to work with. Well, Q ran into the referee. Q wants to go quickly. Down to Fly Campbell with the step. Is she going to steal it? Yes, she is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Heartbreak for the Hibiscus. They thought they were going to clinch a win against Otago. The 18-year-old said not today. Oh, well, 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 the no number to Fai Campbell. Just a bit of a step in. Miss, Miss Sloan, I think she went through Moncrief and Bill, straightened up and just kept the gas on. Bit of a swerve. And oh, they didn't give up. And just like that, they break the hearts of the Harbour Hibiscus. We talked about the experience of the Otago spirit coming through, but it was the youngster, the 18-year-old, who pulled through and got the win. 24-21, a wonderful game, a great spectacle for the Farah Palmer Cup Championship Division.